Make no mistake about it, nothing poses a bigger threat to the sexual health of our nation or our nation's families than pornography. Perhaps we should begin by asking, what is pornography? The word comes from two Greek words, porneo, the word for prostitute, and graphia, the word for picture. So pornography graphically pictures the work of prostitutes. The history of pornography is almost as old as the human race. For example, the walls of buildings still standing in ancient Pompeii are decorated with pornographic art. However, with today's modern media, internet technology, and the reality of HDTV, a younger and wider population is being exposed to the prostitute's world more graphically than ever. Make no mistake about it, pornography is big business in the United States. Just how big? The pornography industry makes more money than the revenues of all major league sports franchises in this country. Baseball, football, basketball combined. It earns twice as much as all the major television networks combined. ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, and Fox. And the industry continues to grow. In 1999, when search engines began to track accessibility to pornography, there were approximately 15 million pages of porn available on the Internet. By 2009, according to Google, that number had grown unbelievably to 755 million pages. According to a United Nations investigator on the sale of children, child prostitution, and child porn, there are 4 million pages of child porn available on the Internet. Every second, over 28,000 people are viewing pornography, and the pornographers are earning $3,000. Think of that. $3,000 per second. That's $180,000 per minute. That is over a million dollars an hour. Since I wrote my book, Teaching Your Children a Truth About Sex, in 2006, profits for pornographers have grown from $12 billion a year to $13 billion a year, an increase of $1 billion in five years. Where this much money is involved, you can be sure that whatever political protection is needed has been bought and is in place. However, First Amendment rights under the Constitution were never meant to put our marriages and children at sexual risk. How early in life are children being exposed to pornography? The average age is 11 for boys and 13 for girls. Boys and girls react differently to pornography. Girls and women find themselves more attracted to romantic stories that end in sexual activities. The story is important for them. On the other hand, boys and men are stimulated simply by the portraying of the sexual activity itself. Romantic stories are not necessary to excite them. Today, the largest market for pornography is males from 11 to 17 years of age. Now, with the ability of cell phones to tap into search engines on the Internet, this market is bound to expand. One out of every three children ages 11 to 17 have cell phones. So for them, these highly erotic, sexually stimulating pornographic images are just a click away. What impact does pornography have on our children? Well, the degree to which they will be affected will depend on a number of factors. How early in life were they exposed? How often do they view pornography?